Hi, so this may not seem amazingly interesting at first, but actually it's super interesting. So what I've got here is a square of paper painted with our ink. Now it's not quite a square, it's longer than it is wider. And along the shore edges, I've got two clips attached, and it's attached to the power meter here. And it's on 9 volts, it's taking 50 milliamps. And they're going more or less a straight line from here to here, so that's where the current is flowing. Now, either side of that piece of uh, paper, I've got these two clips attached. And those two clips are here, reading the voltage at 0.7374 volts. Now, I did have it on the Rigol, but you can't read the Rigol screen, so I put, I put it on here so you could see the screen clearly. It's a little out of focus because I'm focused on this, but you can still read those numbers. Now, watch what happens when I approach that with a magnet. That's quite a dramatic effect. That is the whole effect. So the field here, the electrical field, is interrupted by the magnetic field, and it bends it, creating a potential difference in this direction. Because the electrons are forced here, making this a negative charge, this is a positive charge, and we get that difference across. So by approaching something like that with a magnet, we can create the whole effect, and in fact, create a whole effect sensor. That's actually very cool. Oh, <laughs> don't get too close. <laughs> so that's all I actually had. Two crocodile clips on a bit of patent paper. Now, when I was reading about the whole effect and seeing how it actually worked, then the materials it suggested that would be good are uh, uh, gallium arsenide, indium arsenide, indium phosphide, indium, indium antimonide, and graphene. And of course it struck me immediately that our paint is a graphene-based paint. So if we can use graphene for whole effect sensors, I should be able to paint a whole effect sensor. Now, it looks like I can, and obviously that's very rough and ready. And what we need to do really is put on the strip, to make a much better job, uh, get a more accurate reading of it and see what kind of effect that magnetic stack will have approaching our graphene ink. But I thought it was very cool that the potential was there to be able to paint Hall effect sensors uh, just from our graphene ink, because Hall effect sensors have a huge number of um, uses. So they find them absolutely everywhere as position locators, current sensors, timing sensors, all kinds of things. So if you can paint Hall effect sensors, I thought it'd be really quite interesting. So I painted a quick Hall effect sensor there, and, and I got quite excited, which is why I'm sharing it with you. But what I want to do, obviously, is have a look at that and see if we can, in fact, just be painting Hall effect sensors. So I thought I'd share that with you. I hope it was interesting, and thank you very much for watching.